Hello, dear all. I am uh, very happy to present you the OSD journey of Total Energies, which is named from concept to the operational deployment. So what is OSDU for Total Energies? So as uh, for Petrobras and the other operators, we have a lot of data in different applications, in different formats, in different data models, in the corporate databases, and the um, overall uh, interoperability is complicated. This slow down the collaboration internally, but also externally, and slow down the innovation. So we believe that introduction of OSDU in our ecosystem will boost the move from application-driven approach to the data-driven approach. This will facilitate the internal, external collaboration, and we see OSDU as the, as the key enabler for digital transformation. So in Total Energies, let's uh, have a look on our journey. So Total Energies is one of the founder members of the OSDU Forum in uh, 2018. In 2021, we've delivered the successful proof of concept on Suriname on self-managed OSDU by adoption the well workflow. Today, we are in step number three on the um, uh, deployment of OSDU for the well workflow for Uganda affiliate, and today it will be the focus on one presentation. We are framing the project for seismic uh, deployment for one particular asset. We will follow with uh, interpretation and geomodeling for preparing the OSDU rollout. So now let's focus on the uh, Uganda project. So why we are talking about Uganda? First of all, in Total Energies, Uganda, this is a digital flagship. This is affiliate which is willing to do the right things from the beginning to implement the cloud-first approach. And also the uh, drilling campaign is very intensive and in order to support it, the uh, efficiency has to be boosted from data management, but also from media perspective. So there are some challenges as, for example, how to use the data of the wells which is already drilled to reduce the uncertainties for the wells which are preparing to be, to be drilled. And this we will see how we address those challenges with OSDU data platform. So that's why uh, we launched this project. So uh, the project was started in May 2022, and we have per ambition to uh, deliver it before the start of the drilling campaign. Uh, here you can see that uh, the project is divided in 15 work streams. So you may see some work streams are very generic one, as the data architecture, the deployment of uh, OSDU data platform. So deployment, we are using the ADMI solution. Uh, we have also three environments, as in Petrobras, so we have the development, the qualification, and the production environment, which is now under preparation for, for the operations in Uganda. Uh, also, it's uh, the ecosystem release management, how to ensure the smooth transition between the milestone and to ensure that all the connectors will be working smoothly. Uh, we are talking about the uh, cybersecurity and uh, data governance, which is also very important on the top of our project. Data management, so our ambition is to let Uganda affiliate to be autonomous in terms of data management. Why, when we are talking about the data management, we are talking about the data ingestion, about data search browsing, data sharing, uh, data deletion, data modification. And uh, when we are talking about the data sharing, we have the contractual obligation to share our data with the uh, authorities uh, and also with our partners. And we, we um, developed the dedicated tool which allows to do this and uh, uh, for the externals to directly download the data from uh, OSDU data platform. Also, you can see all the streams uh, related to the connectors. So we worked in close collaboration with uh, software vendors, with HRH for Gravitas connector, with Aspen Tech for Geolog connector, and uh, for the connectors in our internal software, with Sysmash, it is the internal uh, geosize interpretation software. Uh, also, ADEPT, you can see here on the screen, which is the drilling software uh, to calculate the trajectory of the wells uh, to be drilled. Uh, or revised, the trajectory already planned. And also, it's di uh, digital well SOR, this, uh, the connector which allows to direct push to OSDU data platform the scenario uh, of the well to be drilled, including the position, the targets, the trajectory, and the marker set. Uh, 
And finally, three uh, last streams here. We introduced it during the life cycle of the project uh, because it's important to go from project to the run mode, so to set up the uh, overall maintenance support model. Uh, we had to reload our data in different environments and to prepare the data for the test and so on. And uh, also the data recovery from our corporate database when we are talking about the master data, well, well bore. Uh, and finally, our ambition is to deliver the project with um, dashboard. Dashboard by the Power BI connection to admin uh, for the metier and also for the data management. So let's have a look concretely what we've covered. We've covered the three uh, main steps of the well life cycle, starting from the well preparation. It means that recovery of the planned scenario, uh, as I said, it is a well location, well trajectory, well markers, well targets. After its recovery of the daily package directly from the drilling rig, uh, it will be pushed by well site geologist. We have the integrated validation process by operational geologist, daily package, including the daily reports, uh, the directional survey, also the daily logs. After this data is available in data platform, with the lithology, which will be pushed by, from Gravitas on request by well site geologist. And this data may be recovered by geolog, by petrophysicist, who will do his interpretation in geolog and push to OSDU data platform the result. And this interpretation result uh, may be cons uh, consumed by CSMASH, so by our geoscientist, uh, to follow the drilling campaign. And finally, the heart of our uh, deployment, it is this interaction between ADEPT, so the drillers, and SysMars, the geoscientists. So once the reference well is drilled, it's very important to reduce the uncertainty of the well which has to be drilled. It means that we use the data which we recovered in the daily pack to uh, readjust the targets after to recompute re the trajectory and to readjust the markers. And I will show all this for you on the demo. And uh, uh, quite the same uh, workflow for the actual data on the post-mortem phase. We've built our own ingestion framework, which you will see on the demo on the tab of OSDU data platform, which allow to recover the daily package directly from the rig. So uh, from architecture standpoint, very quick, quick view, our OSDU is turning in the uh, West uh, Europe data center. For SysMash software, our geoscience interpretation software, it's turning in, in South Africa data center because it has to be closer for the users. Also, we connected the on-premise softwares as uh, uh, Gravitas H and Geolog. So the majority of our users are in Uganda, but for the support purposes, also the connection with on-premise software is done in the headquarter to help them in case of need. Uh, and uh, you can see that this hybrid ecosystem is operational today. So now I will show you the demo. This demo is done in the real data uh, from Uganda affiliate. So you will not see the data, but you will see how it will work. So we just did the test of overall um, uh, system, how it, how it will work in operations. So let's go. So now I will show you uh, how we will recover. So it's well site geologist who will, so will push the data from the Gravitas directly to OSDU data platform. So he's connected to his Gravitas age, he's select, uh, selecting the lithology, and after he will push the export, and that's it. We will recover it on OSDU data platform. Now it's our ingestion tool. So it is the well site geologist who is uh, here selecting in which project, on which well, the daily package has to go. So it is the existence kind, so it's while drilling data, it will be the reference da uh, well data which we will recover, and he will select the daily package. Daily package consisting from the report, from the uh, directional survey, from the logs, and he's pushing it on this, uh, uh, um, of this framework, ingestion framework. So once the data is pushed, it's not it. Data is not going directly to OSDU. This is the turn of, oper uh, of uh, operational geologist who has to validate the data. So he's checking the data and he's validating or rejection, uh, rejecting or deleting it. So he chooses to validate the data. He will follow all the processes of the ingestion, starting from the parsing of the file, generating the manifest, validation of the manifest, and you can see up to uploading of the data to the uh, wellbore DMS and the system of record. And now the external partner will connect to his dedicated page and to recover this data directly coming from the rig on this uh, dedicated web page. So he's downloading the report. 
You can, you can recognize here the admin UI uh, application and data manager will follow all the steps of data ingestion and so on here on this uh, admin UI page. So in this example, he may follow and see that this last file will just upload it uh, from the rig. And also you can see here that we introduced the um, uh, links between the master data and uh, uh, the data which was loaded in the daily package. So in this example, it's the PDF reports. So now let's go uh, to see what's happened from petrophysicist standpoint on Geolog. So petrophysicist connect his Geolog application on premise and he will fetch the data directly from OSD data platform to his local project. So now this is an example of the world JV6. He will find some data which was just uh, uh, received from the rig and he will put it in his local project. So once his data is available, he will do his internal interpretation. So during the well operation, it's production of the Russian interpreted file uh, and or its uh, actual data, it will be the composite log and he will send it back directly from Geolog to OSDU data platform. So here he is putting some metadata and now data will go to OSDU. So data from Geolog will go to Wellboard DMS, but also to the system of records on last two, last three uh, delete format. So let's have a look what's happened in SysMash. So in SysMash, we will be able to recover directly the data which was just pushed by a uh, petrophysicist in Geolog. So he produced the interpretation result. In SysMash, we will refresh our project without the additional opening of the project, so directly integrated uh, button, we are refreshing and the data will come in the project. So we will select, uh, we will see that what data is coming, it is the uh, trajectory, it is the logs, also it's markers, the targets, so everything is available in our project and after we'll select here the well log, uh, the gamma ray, which was uh, shifted by petrophysicist as the interpretation result and it will be available on SysMash project. So you can see that uh, uh, here we tested the interoperability between Geolog and SysMash in this example. And now, here we are still in SysMash. So in SysMash we are able to show the different um, uh, status of our well, so of planned, of revised uh, and also on uh, drilling phase and uh, to compare the trajectories uh, and the markers. You can see here on the screen, so this is a trajectory uh, with the markers where we can see either the markers uh, for the drilled well are in the uncertainty area or beyond. And if beyond, we have to react in order to reduce the uncertainties for the wells to be drilled. So here on the same screen, we can see the comparison of different state of our well. So now on the seismic line, we will repick the new targets directly in SysMash. So once the new targets are repicked, we will send the target set to OSDU data platform. And here we introduced the reason of the revisiting, why we did this repicking. So once we put the comment, we will send it to OSDU. And now what we are doing here, we will verify that this revisited uh, scenario is directly on OSDU and we will reconsume it in SysMash. So this is the interface of ADAPT. You remember ADAPT, the drilling software. Now it's a driller who opens his interface. He will recover the target set just sent from SysMash and he will recalculate the trajectory. So on the screen, we saw the targets on red and the trajectory on blue, which was recalculated. So once he's uh, happy with his new trajectory, he will push trajectory directly to OSDU. So uh, he, is, he is pushing the trajectory. He will see the message that uh, the trajectory is successfully pushed to OSDU and here the work of the driller will be finished. And uh, this new recalculated trajectory will be recovered in SysMash by Geoscience. And uh, uh, they will, so you can see here on the screen, this is uh, the planned scenario and revised scenario from ADAPT, which is just received. And, uh, uh, by refreshing, we will recover it in SysMash. And once it's recovered, the new markers will be repicked and sent back to OSDU. And here we close our loop of, uh, of the workflow which I just presented you before. So the whole workflow was covered by this project and what, uh, where we are today. So today, concretely, we are preparing the run mode of, uh, of our system. So we are uh, finalizing the support, which will be communicated to the affiliate. Also, we are preparing the donation of admin UI to OSDU, which we, uh, we uh, fine-tuned for our need. 
also uh, we are preparing as uh, so finalizing the framing of seismic workflow and finally we would like to uh, put new uh, more data types also to uh, open with you to bigger uh, volumes of the data uh, and we would like to benefit from the innovation as AI and the ML solution and uh, uh, before to close I would like to thank uh, a lot the core team the majority of core team of total energies who delivers this project is here on the room but also the uh, cloud provider the software vendors and a lot of contractors who helped us to deliver this project and uh, I think that this uh, this demonstration show you the commitment of Total Energies on OSDU Forum and I would like to thank you all for your attention. <laughs>